Hey guys, it's Lisa. Welcome back to my channel. Today, it's really echoey in here because I have a clean, empty bedroom in my house. As you can see, completely empty room. So it echoes really bad. Um, and I've also been cleaning all day, so I look awful. In this video, I am going to be setting up my doll room in my house. So this is gonna be a room where I have all my doll stuff, all of my retro collectibles and toys and stuff. It's also just gonna be like a hangout room where I just chill out, lay on a bean bag, listen to music, um, possibly have a TV in here eventually, and just this be a cozy space for me. I feel like I'm literally yelling even though I'm not. I have my guinea pigs in here, but I moved my guinea pigs into a different room. So now I have a clean and empty space for everything that I want to do. So I have a dollhouse that I need to build and then I just need to move stuff in here so I figured I would film it. The first thing I'm gonna do is hang up a hammock in the corner right here and put all of my plushies in the hammock. So I literally bought this like seven months ago and I haven't even hung it up yet. So let's go ahead and do it. I put up the thing in the corner. Um, this is most of my plushies except for my webkins. My webkins are just gonna have to go somewhere else because this is full. I might get another one for the other corner and put my webkins in there. But as you can see, this bad boy is completely full. And I tried to display all of them where you could see them well. So there is step one to the room. Now I have my Our Generation dollhouse here. This was a birthday present to myself. I got it on sale at Target on the website. They had it for $65 off and I never wanted to pay full price for this. Even though it is really nice, I just don't think it is worth the price that it is. So for $65 off and free shipping, I felt like this was worth the money and this was a birthday present to myself. So I need to build this. I don't have a drill, so I hope I don't need a drill. And I hope I don't need another person because I live alone. So excited. I will put a link for it down below. And then lastly, I put my huge gigantic bean bag in here. I've had it in my bedroom and it just took up so much space. I absolutely hated it in there. And um, my cats and dogs are the only beings that use this dang thing. So I put it in here so the cats and dogs can come in here and lay on it or whatever I can lay on it when I'm sitting in here. I have some like pictures and doll stuff. I need to bring all my doll stuff in here, but I want to build the doll house before I bring all my doll stuff in here. So I'm honestly not gonna talk too much while building this because I know that this is gonna be frustrating and this is going to take me forever. It's already like 6 p.m. So we'll see how long it takes me. I'm gonna turn the fan on, audiobook on, and then just try to build this the best that I can.
All right, I just finished building the dollhouse. It took about an hour and a half. I did take a dinner break, but I did not put the dividers in the middle, which is kind of an issue because there's these holes in the floor and also it kind of cracks on the wall right here. But I want an open floor plan. I don't like the dividers because I feel like it just really restricts like creativity that way. Um, I didn't realize like from the pictures that even the flooring is pink. Like, I will show you guys closer. Like, the flooring is light pink. For some reason in the pictures, it looks light brown, but it's actually light pink. So if you don't like pink, this is definitely not the dollhouse for you. You can add some like contact paper pretty easily because this is just kind of like a wood material. So I could add different wallpapers to the back to kind of change up the pink vibe. And I do have some contact paper that I could change this to light brown if I wanted to. That's probably something that I'm going to do in the future, but this was extremely easy to build guys. I have a hand disability. So I was basically doing this with one good hand and I did it by myself. The only recommendation I have is to have more than one person bring it into your front door because the package was a hundred pounds. I can't lift 100 pounds with a bad hand, so I did have one person help me get it inside of my house, but once I got it in my house, I was able to slide it to this room and take everything out and build everything myself. I just needed a screwdriver. They included the Allen wrench, I just needed a little screwdriver, so I used that, and it was really easy to build. Um, if I wasn't taking breaks, it probably only would have taken an hour to build. The instructions were really easy to follow. The quality is really great, and I'm really happy with it so far, and also the skylights up here. I mean, you can already see, like I have some artificial lighting right now because it's nighttime, but the way that it casts a light onto the top of this bedroom here, love it. Okay, so let me show you guys what this dollhouse came with. I did not realize how much furniture this dollhouse comes with too, which definitely makes the price worth it because it comes with a whole furniture set. So I got all my doll stuff out of storage. I literally had it piled up in a closet, like just tons of doll stuff that I've had since like last Christmas. So here's what the room is looking like right now. I have all my doll stuff over here that I already had, but this dollhouse came with this kitchen. I don't think I'm going to use this kitchen for like a minimalist, really modern gray vibe. It's really nice, but I do like color and I have this pink and purple one over there that I got last Christmas, so I'm gonna use that. I just don't like that this fridge is not like a real looking fridge. It kind of just looks more like a pantry. And I want more of a kitchen vibe, so I will probably use this as like a prop for pictures and stuff. Here are also the dividers that I did not put in the house, so here's one of them. And then here's the bathroom divider because it has like a little towel rack. And then there's another divider. It comes with a whole dining set, which I have this dining set right here that I got last Christmas. So I think I may use the table of this set and then the chairs. And then we have a night side table for the bed. We have a modern desk and chair. I think I'm going to use my retro computer desk because it's American Girl brand and I really like it. But this is also gonna be a really nice picture prop. Then we have a TV stand, which I also have a living room set too in here somewhere. I know I have a living room set that I bought last year over here somewhere. So I don't know what I'm gonna do with that yet comes with this cute couch, guys. This couch is so cute. I did cut the tag off of it and there is some fuzz coming out of another side. So yeah, I mean, it looks like it's sewn okay. I think it just got sewn with the fuzz coming out, which is not a big deal. This is a really cute couch. We have this little futon-like bed, which I don't love. I really do like the mattress. Like I think the mattress is really cute. I don't like how low the bed is, so I probably will not use this, but we have this nice rug, bath towel, pillows and I also have like other pillows too that are American Girl brand and then this we were supposed to screw into the wall into the bathroom but I didn't know what I was going to do with the bathroom yet so I have not screwed this in yet and then we have this bag full of miscellaneous like kitchen plants there's a little fishbowl and all of that fun stuff so this dollhouse came with so many things I had to turn my fan on because it's really hot in here but I forgot to show this furniture too that was in another box we have the tv and then there's a whole bathroom set, which I already had a whole bathroom set there and also a bathtub too. So I might just have to sell some of the extras that I have because I didn't realize like how much this set came with. But we have the sink and then this is like a kitchen island, which I think I'm going to use this 
And then we have the toilet. Okay, well, if it had batteries in it, it's supposed to flush. And then the shower. I don't think I'm gonna be using the shower. I think I'm gonna use the bathtub because I love baths. I don't like taking showers. All right, now that I've showed you guys everything, it is time to decorate this dang house. So I'm gonna film some fun TikToks of me decorating each room. And I'm also just gonna decorate the rooms and we're gonna see how it looks. I am so excited. I've been looking forward for this. Like since this dollhouse has came out, I've been looking forward to doing this. So I'm so excited right now. Okay, for some reason, my extra camera battery is dead. Like it's not even charging anymore. So I need to buy a new one. So I'm working on one camera battery right now. Look at it guys. I just did the kitchen. So I decorated everything like I wanted it to. Um, I'm gonna do a more in-depth tour at the end, but now we need to do the dining area. So this is just gonna be a little dining space where we can eat after we cook. And that's why I wanted this to be an open concept because if I would have put the barrier in the middle right here, I wouldn't have been able to fit the refrigerator. I decided to go with the modern kitchen set and then use the refrigerator from the other set because I like the way this looks more and I'm absolutely obsessed with it. And then I went ahead and I added the lights up here too. So these lights I actually bought probably like seven or eight months ago. They hook to this so I can turn them on and off whenever I want to. And I can also change the colors for the different seasons and stuff if I want. Like for Halloween, I can do orange or purple or something like that. So, and I can turn it off, put a timer on it and everything like that. So, and then to put new batteries in, I just twist them off and pull them down. So it's really easy. So yeah, those are the lights that I decided to use. The cat is invading the kitchen. But let's go ahead and decorate the living room together. And I'm gonna film another TikTok because I'm so excited. <laughs> like I'm absolutely obsessed with this right now. All right guys, it's a couple days later. I have finished the dollhouse. I finished decorating and everything. So I'm going to go ahead and do a quick overview and show you guys what it looks like. Okay, first I'm going to turn the lights on. Um, they turn on one at a time just because they're not all synced up together, but here are the lights. It just turns on with this little remote and I can also change all the colors like that. Like for Halloween, I can do orange. It's not a very bright orange, but, but yeah, I can just change the colors of everything and it just looks really cool. So let's go ahead and get a closer view. Okay, starting from the top here, I want to get some string lights to hang through the ceiling here. The ones that I had died, so I need to buy some new ones. But this is going to be the like lofted bedroom. So two to three girls will be in here. Um, just for display purposes, I mean, obviously they're not real. So, I mean, we don't need multiple beds, but. the so first here, and maybe I shouldn't have just put that in the middle because it kind of casts a shadow over her. That's why I want to get some string lights. But we have Miss Raven here and I need to put her in some pajamas or something, but I'm about to give them some Halloween costumes and stuff since it's October 1st. But Miss Raven is laying in the bed here. The bunk bed that I had that I got for Christmas is too big for the dollhouse. It does not fit in the dollhouse. It is actually a gigantic bunk bed. Didn't realize how big it was, so I don't know. I guess I could return it. I, actually, it's probably been too long since Christmas to return it. So I'll either sell it on Facebook Marketplace or just keep it and use it for picture purposes because it is really cute. Same with the bathroom. That is, um, I have two of them. So that one's not even open. So I have two showers and an extra kitchen, extra table, TV. Like I have a bunch of extras and stuff here so I may sell them I don't know but here is our little Macintosh office set up here this is an old American Girl item that one of my lovely subscribers sent to me and it is still by far like my favorite item that I have so she has like a little 
American Girl book bag and then it has like her report card and pencil and everything inside of this. So this is Nikki. This is one of the 90s dolls. I absolutely love her. Like she's probably, one, I say one of my favorite dolls. Like I don't love all of my dolls like pretty equally, but I just think she's so cute. And I felt like she fit the vibe of the 90s computer very well. And then I'm gonna print out some pictures eventually and put them on this little board and that just fell out. It came with these little um, push pins. And um, unfortunately the computer does not work, but you could still click it. And then there's a little mathematic book, put some of her shoes here with a little bat because she's a sporty girl and then a suitcase. We've got some slippers, a little nightstand table, which has some socks in it with a phone and a camera and then a little plant little Care Bear. I'm gonna find some more stuff to put up there. And also, since I did not put the divider in this room, it's kind of like open right here. So I need to figure out a way to cover that and make it look still aesthetically pleasing. Maybe hang like some fake vines or something across the walls maybe. But we've got our little pet and some roller skates and then we have a very crinkled curtain. <laughs> All right, now let's get to the second level here. This is where Miss Yvette is right now because I don't know, this is our generation. This is an our generation house. This is all our generation furniture pretty much. And it just feels like it is so much smaller than like a what an 18 inch doll. Cause look how tall she looks compared to the furniture. But this is supposed to be for 18 inch dolls. Like she would fit in it. I just feel like it looks really small, but either way, she's so cute. And here is her pet guinea pig and her pet rabbit. Comment some names for them down below and I'll choose one of the names. They've got some food and rabbit food and water right there. Um, PSA, do not house rabbits and guinea pigs together in real life. You can transfer Bordetella that way. Do not do that, but these are fake and I think they look cute in this picture, so. Then we have a TV. The kit, I think, came with this TV. Yeah, um, I have this TV. I don't like the picture on this and I liked the gold TV more. I am going to print out some type of other picture. I honestly kind of want to print out a scene from like a Real Housewives episode or something and put it in here, which I think it'll be really funny. And then I used this stand instead of the one that this TV came with. It was like a whole living room set. Oh, I think it's upside down. Either way, you can store stuff in there. And then we have a little pet goldfish, which I don't also support goldfish and fish bowls, but here we are. Here's the cat, my real cat. And then we have the heart pillows and everything. I love this room. I love it. It's really simple, but I love. And we have the bathroom, of course. I decided to opt in to using my bathtub instead of the shower because I personally take baths every single night. I'm a bath girl. It's ultimate self-care for me. And I have a little rubber ducky in here and it also makes noises. <laughs> So there's that, that's really cool. And then I just put some, you know, body wash, shampoo, conditioner. We've got this like cute little soap. Like it's so freaking cute. And then I put the little flower thing there. This toilet, if I put batteries in it, if I put batteries in this toilet, it does make flushing noises, but there's no batteries in it. I. You just ate shit, didn't you? You did. She tried to jump up on the beanbag and just completely missed, which I don't even know how that's possible because it's so tiny, but anyways. I have this little rug that I got from Timu in one of my last hauls and I felt like that this was a cute little bathroom rug. Then we have the mirror, which is technically supposed to go right here, as you can see. We're gonna have to cover that up with some picture frames. I used a command strip and I just hung that one up right there because I wanted to put it there. And then we have another thing of soap and also some gentle exfoliant to wash their face. And like I said before, the floor is light pink and there's holes here because this is actually supposed to go here. This is, it's kind of bent, but this is actually just being held here by like the pressure of the house. It's not screwed in. I did want to have a divider from the bathroom because like who wants to be able to see the bathroom while they're sitting in the living room? Like nobody. So yeah, I gave the bathroom some extra space and I'm going to make some like picture frames to put on the wall. I want to say that this is my favorite. Actually, this is definitely my favorite because the details that are put into that one. I mean, literally, this is my dog. This is actually Honey. It's an American Girl dog, but it looks kind of like my dog here. 
So I absolutely love this space. I have my childhood mini me doll in here. She looks exactly how I did when I was a kid. Um, I got her in that last haul that I showed you guys and I realized that she looks exactly like how I did when I was a kid. So I really like her. I think she's so cute, but she has a little oven mitt on cause she just made some cookies. I have like so many damn cookies. I'm sorry if you can hear this boy heavy breathing. He's a heavy breather. And then some cupcakes here. And then I decided to put the desk seat here so somebody can like sit and eat the cookies. Cause you know, sometimes people sit on, at the kitchen island and stuff. So I don't know, I just added a chair there. We have some mini brands. So I have a lot of mini brands that I've been collecting over the years. And this was a dog food. So we have a little mini brand dog food for honey here. And I don't know, I just love this kitchen. I love it, I keep saying it, but I just added like all the different foods and stuff that I had. Uh, out of all of the American Girl stuff I have, it's mainly just random kitchen stuff that I've gotten in these just huge thrifting halls and stuff. So we have like my recipe box and then like a little rolling pin with some butter. We have some fruit bowls up here. Let me move her real quick so you guys can see. We have some pancakes and some eggs being made back here with a cup full of utensils. And also I'm pretty sure that that's supposed to make noise too, but I did not put batteries in it. And then down here, we just have extra storage. So pots and pans are down there and then extra bowls are in that one. Then we have just extra storage up here because I have so many plates and forks and spoons and just random stuff. And then in here, I treated this as a pantry instead of a fridge. So we have spices and then more mini brands here. I've literally have had these mini brands for years. More drinks and stuff and then extra bowls and everything here. Then we have the fridge. So this is the fridge that came in this kitchen set right here. I do really like this kitchen set, but it does look significantly cheaper than this one. So that's why I chose this one instead. This cup is actually supposed to be here. Like we're getting some ice or something. Uh, I do keep this door closed because I know the cats will just grab these little items and run away with them in the night. But yeah, so there's some stuff that gets knocked over because of them. But I wish the fridge lit up. I honestly, it might, oh, it doesn't light up, okay. It has actual food in it. So like I said, more mini brands. My boyfriend's hair is just like stuck to everything. Got some dressings, butter, cheese. We got some random eggs down here. Then I have like veggies, fruit and veggies in here. Got a random turkey, some milk. We've got two cartons of eggs. One is our generation brand and then one is American Girl brand. Just random stuff. <laughs> but I just really like that it's like a real fridge. And then I think, and then down here in the freezer, I only had some ice cream and then this random thing of ice. And there's actual ice cream in here. And then a thing of ice. <laughs> So that's in the freezer. And then we have the little dining area. I didn't want to make the dining area too big because it's just, I don't know, to show some foods. So I used the table from the like uh, Italian food set from our generation with the chairs that they included with the dollhouse. And then I used the tablecloth. I didn't use the red one because I didn't like red. So I used some of the pizzas from that set and then bread. And then we have some, like, I'm pretty sure these are American Girl brand. I don't know. They're random things that I had. So we've got some, like, milks. And then, like, oh, my God, no, no, no. Uh, olive oil. Oh, my God, I'm knocking over everything. There's salt and pepper shakers, but also this cheese is sparkle. Like, it's glitter sparkles. I'm obsessed. So there's our little dining room area. Nothing too crazy. I'm gonna also make some more frames and pictures for the walls. And if you guys have any ideas on how I can cover these holes up and make it look a little bit better, then let me know. Cause I do like the pink flooring at the moment. So I don't really want to cover that. And then I have this green rug too. So if I get some outdoor American Girl stuff, like an RV or a car, or just some type of outdoor play set, then I can take some pictures pretending that this is grass and kind of use the rest of this area right here as like an outdoor space. But yeah, that was a lot of talking. I am tired and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I filmed a lot of TikToks of me decorating each room. So check out my TikTok down below. It's just AG actually, it's the same username as here. And um, I hope you guys enjoyed. 
I loved making this video so much. I have so many doll restorations I need to do. I have another American Girl haul that's coming soon too. And your girl is just thriving. I'm, I'm loving everything that I have done. And I hope you guys do too. Make sure to subscribe down below and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.